Yes! Yes! I did it! That was Nevada. Now we're into the final state. California! Woo! -hoo! I guess I'll remember Nevada for Las Vegas. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna remember. The babes, the funny tuxedo nights out. And the lack of trees and the cactuses. Oh, the cactuses. I'm happy to start seeing trees again. The mountains have trees. There's trees down here on the road. Trees, trees, trees. We're back to a hammock zone. Trees! What would be your perfect day? I mean, your ideal day, a day that you went to bed that night and you just thought that was the most incredible day. That's how I want most of my days in my life to be just like that. What would that perfect day be like for you? I'm the one that controls whether or not I'm gonna have a good day. All of us, we are the ones that define if negative impacts are gonna have a good or a bad impact on your life. It's your mentality, your mind is a battleground. Nobody can affect whether or not you're gonna have a good day, but yourself and your own mind. You no longer need to be a victim to the past. You no longer have to be a victim to a future in which you are projecting negativity. You no longer have to be a victim to anything that anyone has ever said about you. You no longer have to be a victim to the things that you've said about yourself. You no longer have to be a victim to anything. So affirm your vision every day. And don't affirm it as I'm trying, I wish, I want to. I am. Every single day I am is the creative force of the universe. Whatever you attach I am to, you will become. You say I am, you know, tired, I am frustrated, I am lonely. I think you're inviting more of that in that. So the principle is to turn it around, invite what you want into your life. Three questions you want to ask yourself on a regular basis. You want to ask, how can I grow? What can I give? And what can I celebrate? Those are three questions you want to live with because you are an evolving, unique being. You want to ask every day, how can I grow? So at the end of that day, you're not the same person that got out of bed. You've had an insight. You've had a revelation. You've practiced something new. You've tried something new so that you have become more yourself. How can I grow today? I don't want to be the same person 365 days from today. All righty, onwards. Drink in the moment. Live for today. Be excited with where you're at. Make the most of it and enjoy every moment. Live every day like it's your last. Because one of these days you're going to be right. Enjoy the ride. Success is a journey, not a destination. So live in the moment and enjoy the moment. I still have to overcome negativity. I still have to get out of bed. I still am stressed some days. And there's some days I question myself. There's some days I make bad decisions. And it's just how you get over them, how you handle it, and how you go forward. Do you know what makes for a bad day? What makes for a bad day is snoozing, starting your day off late, 
Starting your day off tired, starting your day off by mainlining everybody else's news feed on social media and looking at everybody else's life and, and saying to yourself, oh my God, they're on vacation or gosh, they look so great or their friends are so fancy or my gosh, they've got so money. You start off your day looking at that shit, you're never gonna have a good day. You gotta start off your day by getting up on time, figuring out your priorities and then getting to work on them. Do not pick up your phone until you have done those two things. I think the single biggest reason why people have bad days is because they start them off by looking around at everybody else and seeing what they're doing instead of having the focus and the discipline to actually start your day off with you in control and with your priorities front and center. I'm here to talk to you about compromising your life. When are you gonna stop compromising your life for what everybody else wants you to do? It is your life. Stop trying to sit there and trying to impress everybody. Stop trying to be everybody's friend. Stop trying to make everybody's days. If you wanna do that, then you should give out lollipops and candy, but that's not what life is made of. That's not what life's about. Your life is about taking full advantage of your happiness. And it's just that. It is your happiness. Stop compromising your life for other people. Do not let anybody tell you what, where, why you should love or like something. Just go out there and do it. Stop compromising your life for people who really don't care if you succeed or fail. And that's a fact. You have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone, go out there and Tackle obstacles, goals that you want to achieve. Not your mom, not your dad, not your girlfriend, not your brother, not your sister, not your kids. You got to do what you want. You will not be a good father. You will not be a good husband. You will not be a good wife if you are unable to love yourself. Almost at the top, sliding. You can probably use a turn to slide, right? Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. You're almost off the rock. No. I'm gonna need the passenger side to come up with me. Am I on that rock? I'm glad. Um, yeah, because you got one wheel just off the ground. There you go. Yeah, less sketchy. I think turn my way. Yeah, you're through. Hang on, hang on, stop there. That looks better. Right, nice, now turn that way.
Yeah. Now you've got loads of clearance. And you're good to just keep edging slowly like that down, you'll be fine. Keep coming. Whew. Yikes. Good morning, ladies and gentle monkeys. My name is Seb, this is the camp. Boom. This is Seb Cam in the mountains, on the edge of mountains and desert. We're re entering California. Nevada, California. Yo. Not too cold, not too hot. Just about right. Good morning everybody. So, we're on these crazy bumpy rocks this whole time. I mean, you've seen what it's like. We've got no idea how far we are away from getting out. We just have to keep persevering at this point. It's just, Dustin's gone to scout around if there's a better route. But every single way is just like, slow going massive rocks we're kind of stuck but we seem to get through and then we're kind of stuck but we seem to get through it's pretty scary because if we get stuck we are really stuck or if something breaks we're really broke down it's not easy to get towed out of here it's not easy to get parts it just feels like pretty nerve wracking we're kind of stuck here. We're a little bit stuck. We're a little bit stuck in the woods, in the rocks. Stuck on the rocks. We're stuck on the rocks, buddy. You went for a swim in the lake. Did you go for a swimming in the lake this morning? Yeah, buddy. He had a good splash around in there. Unintentionally face planted the lake. Didn't you? You went running and went. <coughs> so, yeah, it's a little bit sketchy right now. We spent all day getting stuck yesterday. And maybe we spent all day getting stuck today. We're just getting stuck. On rocks. For two days. What's the verdict? What's the Set? plan? Yeah. All kinds of tracks. Maybe there's an easier way. But we're gonna head over this hill. Looks like there's a little bit of dirt. That seems to go right, and that seems to go left. Right, so Maybe we can squeeze that. Squeeze. It's squeezing. Squeezing. Squeezing, going up a tiny bit, a tiny bit, squeezed, we're past. Amazing. I'm tired of this, and this is like my jam. It's like we just want to get out of here now. Yeah. And we're faced with stuff like this. What? Huh? Yeah, we've gone about five miles in a day. Something like that. Five miles a day, buddy. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. I could go off and run, but I need to help Dustin get out of here. Hey, bud. We're doing our best to get out of here, friend. We're still a ways out. But that's a major obstacle. 
but then we're coming up again soon. Coming up on this side, get this back wheel up on my side, needs to bump over. Back wheel's coming up. Over. Basically over this ridge, starts big sluice, we go down big sluice, and then it's like there's a couple little like kind of tough squeezes and things, but so once you get to Rubicon Springs, you're really, you're through 90% of the hard stuff. It's not like we're shooting out on a pavement around the corner or anything. They don't plan on trying to finish today. They're gonna have a fairly short day and just make it an easy three days instead of a tough two. Wow. I was like, okay. I was like, I'm gonna try and get out of here. Yeah. Hopefully not destroy my vehicle in the process. Yeah, so this, this is a little harder than what I expected it to be. Just a little bit. It's just constant. There's no break from it. It's just like constantly. This is a break. Well, yeah, this is a break. This is a break right here. About 30 feet. Looks easier, you guys, but I don't know. What was that? But go right. No, you're right. He said the right looks easier. Yeah. But the left is the way to go. That's it. Yeah. Go left. I am amazing. I am phenomenal. I am capable of all things. And so are you. Oftentimes we allow everyone to dictate what's valuable in our lives. It's because that you are now see the light. You're an unstoppable force of nature. I am in control of my own destiny. I hold a pen that writes my own story. I come to you vulnerable. You give me armor, make me invincible. You're no longer allowed to ask why. Why me? You now say, try me. This wisdom shall set you free. Free from the chains that hold your imagination, your greatness, captive. Anything you put in front of me, I shall break that, I shall destroy. You have the power bestowed upon you to be great. You now have no excuse not to be great, not to be amazing. You hold the gift of greatness in your heart. When adversity hits you, get back up! You're no longer weak, you're no longer misguided, shy, broken, lost, vulnerable. You are confident, you are focused, you are strong, you are invincible! That kind of a sigh of relief, that was the tricky bits, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should be the hard parts of the big sluice. Now it's just wobble, 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 yeah, wobble, yeah. wobble, 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 and I will do whatever it takes to achieve it. I will learn the lessons from any failures. I will learn faster. I will work harder. I will work smarter. And I will not quit until my dream is a reality. That's the difference between success and failure. 
failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. Yet you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the the adaptation is. That's where growth is. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed. They extract the lessons from the failure and they use that the the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. You got to take a shot. You have to live at the edge of your capabilities. You got to live where you're almost certain you're going to fail the reason for practice practice is controlled failure you're getting to your limit getting to your limit getting to your limit you can't lift that you can't do that you until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it who's there who's there whose nose is it whose nose has come to wake me up today who is it who is it you stay there? Stay. Ah, ah. Hey, Murray. Hey. Hey. You're crushing the tent, bud. <laughs> All right. Let me get out. Did you do some good sleeping? Did you sleep in the jeeping? Were you sleeping in the jeeping? I was sleeping in the jeeping. Yeah. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk.